everyone. In this video, we will see how we can conduct online test in MS Teams using Quiz. Microsoft Teams has preset feature called Quiz, which we will use in today's video to do an online test. Also, we will see how to do auto grading. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's dive in. I have logged in into the Teams app as a teacher. I will open one of my classes titled Demo Assignment Class. In this class, I have already enrolled one of the students. I will go into the assignment section, press create and then quiz. If you have created quiz earlier, you can use that tool. However, I will be creating a new one here. This will take us to a new link in a browser. Click new quiz. Start with title for this online test. Describe the test next. We can even add the picture. However, I won't use the one for now. Let's start adding question for the test. I will start with a choice question. We can add options for the question as per need. I will add two more choices. Next, to integrate auto grading in the test, we need to define the correct answer for the question. We can even add a comment for each of the answers. You may also define if the question to be solved is compulsory or not. Also, if the question is with multiple answers. I will leave it as default for now. You may even add point for each question. I will assign one point for this. Next, let's go for another question. I will define this as text-based question where the students need to write text to answer the questions. For the answer in the form of text, if it has number of answers, then we can define all of those. Also be careful for plural forms and various forms for same word too. Like the system identifies wave and waves as two different answers and so we'll take wave as wrong answer for waves. So if you want both of these to be correct, you need to define each of them. However, the case of the word that is capital or small cases won't affect. Also, there is possibility of adding subtitles, restrictions, math questions, and even branching. More on these in later videos. Lastly, I will use reading. I will give this zero point. However, to make sure that I will get the rating, I will make this compulsory, which means the students need to read this to submit the answers. We can preview this to see how the students will view this. We can even apply different themes to it. Let's preview it again. Next, we can also check how this will appear in mobile. Looks pretty good. Next, let's check the ways to share this with the students. We can simply copy the link and share it with the students. Or we can even generate the QR code using which the students can open this test. We can even generate code to embed this to our web page. Or we can even directly mail this to the students. We can also define who can access this test. By default, it will be accessible only to the members of the organization. We can change that to anyone outside the organization. That way, guests can also access this online test. I will use another approach to share it with my students. I want to post this in my channel so that the students of my channel can give this test. Let's go back to the class and assignment tab. Press create and then quiz. Next, instead of pressing new form, like the last time, we can simply click the quiz that you have created just now. I like with the assignment. Let's input few information. If you want to know more about the assignment, check the playlist in the description below. Now, let's fill in the instruction. We can view the quiz that we have created. However, we cannot edit it here. We can assign channel and student. I will keep it as default which means this will be accessible to all the students of this channel. 
Next, let's define the due date. The trick here is, we can schedule the test and also provide the time boundary for their submission by entering the close date along with the due date. That way, students can access the test questions for only a specific period of time and need to make the submission by the time. I will only define the close date for now. We can discard this or save this for later to assign or assign it. I will assign it right now. We will get the notification regarding this being posted in the post section. Let's check this one more time. We can edit this if we like. We can even check how students will view this. The online test question is ready. Now, let's view this from a student's account and make the submission. Students can access this from the his post section or the assignment tab. Let's open this and start putting the answers. I will keep one of the answers incorrect. Let's submit it. The cool thing about this is students can instantly get the result without the need of teacher's evaluation. Please note, by default, a student is allowed to fill this only once. Now, let's see how this has been reflected into the grading of a student automatically. Let's open Teams app from teacher's account. We can see that the student has been graded 1 out of 2 automatically. We can even check all the answers and even provide the feedback to the answer that the student has provided. We can check the grades of a student. We can see that he has got 1 out of 2 in this test and has received 4 in previous assignment. All this can be downloaded in Excel file by clicking here. So in this video, we see that how we can do online test with grading being done automatically without the need of teacher to involve in checking process and can also easily access all the results in an Excel file. I hope this video has been useful. Please check my other videos for other relevant contents. Thank you.